Did you know that money can come to you from your thoughts or you can actually block money from coming to you? That's right, you can actually limit your bank account and the money that comes into your life if you're using these three thoughts. So I wanna teach you these three thoughts so you can stop using them so more money will come into your life. This is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com and let's talk about three thoughts that block the law of attraction from attracting more money into your life. Number one, do they really need that? Do they really need that? Have you ever heard somebody say that before? When, or maybe you've done it, when somebody has a nice car, a nice house, or they have some nice clothes on, and we say, do they really need that? Do they really need that? You hear about like an athlete that gets a huge, you know, contract, or an actor, an actress that gets a huge contract for tens and millions of dollars, or hundreds of millions of dollars. Do they really need that? Who cares if they really need it or not? They may, they may not, it doesn't really matter. But the fact that we're wondering that and asking that and speaking that aloud shows that our energy is in the wrong place to begin with. What is that subconsciously saying? Because 95% of our life is subconscious according to psychologists. 95% of our life is subconscious. So your bank account is a reflection of your subconscious mind. Literally, it's an unconscious attraction factor that controls how much money you make and what's in your bank account, your net worth, all of it. It's subconscious. And so what subconscious impression is, do they really need that? It's one of lack and limitation. It's really saying, oh, man, why don't they share more of it? I mean, I wish I could get that. So it's immediately blocking it. And here's the reframe that I want you to use instead. I'm so grateful that they have what they desire. I'm so grateful there's so much abundance in the world. Think about that as opposed to the other because the truth is them having a lot isn't limiting you or anybody else from having a lot. Why? More money is printed every single day. We're under the belief system that money is finite and limited, but it's not by any means at all. It's infinite, it's unlimited, it's digits on a computer. In fact, it's so infinite and unlimited and more is printed every single day that we're, the value of the dollar is actually decreasing every single day. Inflation is about 4%, so your money loses 4% of its value every single solitary year. Hence the rise of cryptocurrencies and digital currencies. Why? Because people aren't trusting the value of the dollar because there's so much money in circulation. So him or her or whoever that person, them having a bunch of money doesn't inhibit anything. So the question isn't, do they really need that? The question is, do you really need to be thinking that? So start to say this instead. I'm so grateful that they have everything that they desire and there's so much abundance in the world. Number two, money is not that important. Money's not, it's not that important. Anyone who says that doesn't have that much money and is probably using it as a coping mechanism to not having that much money. It's a rationalization, it's a justification. So if I said to you, your arm's not that important, it's just not that important, you know? You don't need it. Would it be true? Maybe, but why not? You know, like when somebody says, Having 10 glasses of water a day isn't that important. You could live off of one. Could you? Maybe. But would it be nice to have 10 glasses of water? Yeah. It would probably make you feel a lot better and enjoy your experience more. Is being, having not enough money, could you live like that? Probably. But it'd probably be a lot better to decide that money is important in the arena of which it's used. It's only important in the arena of which it's used. It's a reward for service rendered. It's a very convenient means of exchange that we have in our world if we didn't have money. Some people say, imagine a world with no money. There's always going to be some means of exchange in some type of currency form. Whether it's cryptocurrencies, it used to be cows, it used to be coins, right? It's, it's, it's transmuted and transformed over time. We're always gonna have it. Make the decision that money is valuable and important. It's gonna put your kids into better schools. It's gonna give you the insurance. It's gonna give you insurance for healthcare, dentists. It's gonna allow you to get your hair cut, or like me, it won't allow you to get your hair cut because I don't cut it very often. It's gonna allow you to have 
um, nice clothes, to give nice gifts and roses. Roses cost money. It cost me a lot of money to buy two dozen roses for my fiance. They're not cheap, especially I'm out, out here in Maui. It's very expensive in Maui because it's all shipped out. It's like triple the price. That stuff costs money. And so if you're afraid to make a big financial goal and go after it because you're wondering, am I good enough? Am I smart enough? It's okay. It's a natural process. But don't get so scared that then you say, money's not that important. No, I don't need it. Money won't buy happiness. Of course, it's not going to buy happiness, but it's going to give you a lot of options in life. And, and that can just be the way our culture's been programmed. So download my free success hypnosis, jakeshypnosis.com down below. Download that. I've used it for about six years to retrain my mind for prosperity and abundance. There's tens of thousands of people that watch these videos that have used it. Every day we hear crazy stories, people doubling their income, getting an extra thousand dollars, an extra two thousand dollars, getting a job raise. Because it's belief systems. The belief that money isn't that important stems from what? I probably couldn't make more money. Anyways, I'm not smart enough to make more money. It's going to be hard to make more money. All of these. So then we justify and we say money's not that important. You've got to get rid of that belief system. You've got to get rid of that idea. Because as long as you have that idea, you're never going to have much money. Just like if you didn't think Ferrari, I'm not a, I don't like, I'm not like a car person personally. I just, I drive a Prius and it's great. I love it. And I'm not big on like sports cars. Me personally, it doesn't excite me that much. Right? So it's not important to me. So you would not find a Ferrari in my driveway. You wouldn't find a motorcycle, like super awesome, souped out, really cool motorcycle in my driveway. Why? They're not that important to me. So if money, if you've said before, or you say sometimes that money isn't that important, you're not going to find much in your bank account. Why? Because subconsciously, there's no reason for you, for your subconscious to attract more money into your life. So change those belief systems, start to say money is abundant. I'm so grateful for money being a medium for me to put my kids in school and to have great organic food. Organic food is expensive, man. It's really expensive in Maui. And so we need money in the arena of which it's used. So download my free success hypnosis, jakeshypnosis.com and start to affirm that money is, is, a, is a valuable medium that can help you do more good in the world. It can help you feed the homeless. It can help you clothe your friends. It can help you put your niece or your nephew through college because maybe their parents can't afford it. It can do so many good things. Number three, they should give to charity. Right. Have you ever, I know I've done this before. Have you ever before heard of somebody get like a hundred million dollar, $200 million thing and they say, that's ridiculous. I mean, they should just give that to charity. It's not, you hear it all the time. People say it with athletes, like an athlete gets a $200 million contract. Is it crazy? Yeah, it's pretty wild that they get that much money, but they deserve it. Why do they deserve it? Because people watch the games. People watch the games. There's advertisers paying them. It's a huge business. And if you're the best athlete in the world and you bring that much value to the marketplace, you deserve the money. And it's up to you what you want to do with the money. You can give it to charity if you want, or you can keep it all to yourself. It's up to you. I can't control what you do with your money and it doesn't help me at all to live an abundant, successful, happy, joyful and, and, and life full of peace of mind if my thought process is you've got too much money man, you should give it to charity. You got too much money lady, you should give it to charity. Who cares? That's your path, that's your karma, that's your mission, that's your life, that's your purpose and I have to live mine. So. It's none of your business what other people do with their money. Remember that. It's none of your business what other people do with their money. It's none of your business what other people do with their life, with their time, with who they hang out with, and especially what they do with their money. And every time we think that, what are we, what are we really sending out? We're sending out lack and we're sending out jealousy. It's a way that we cope with not having money. We make them wrong. Well, they should be doing something else with their money. Dude, why don't you get rich and then do something good with your money and be an example? Why don't you do that? That's a great idea. 
Even Gandhi and Mother Teresa needed a lot of money to fulfill their missions in the world. So why don't you decide that you're going to have a lot of money to put in the work, to build the belief systems that are in alignment with having a lot of money and forget about what other people do with their money. So this is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com talking about three thoughts you gotta give up and when you do, you're gonna attract more money into your life. Please share this with a friend. Please share this with a family member. Please copy and paste this YouTube link and send it out to some people on email. We have a world where a lot of people are struggling with abundance. Please share this video. Download my free success hypnosis down below, jakeshypnosis.com. Start using that every day to train and change your thoughts around money. Be sure that you press the subscribe button in the corner and hit the bell notification. You gotta hit the bell notification because that's what actually alerts you when the videos come. So hit subscribe, then the bell notification. Comment where in the world you're coming from. Let me know which of these three steps spoke to you most and I'll see you on the next video.